This is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and I just thought I would show you really quick how I did the overlapping uh, chevron stripe project that I created. Because I knew a couple people might be curious. It's really easy. I'm using the um, brand new Background Basics Super Chevron, and I'm using the smaller set of step set of stripes here. I'm starting with berry sorbet and I'm going to just let the tips of the stripe go above my card front here. There's my first impression. And when I'm doing a project like this, I will admit I don't particularly care for having to clean my stain every time. So I just, I work on these big pads of paper here and just stamp off a couple times. I'm moving on to Melon Berry. And when you're inking these types of stamps, I find that it's it works best if you do several light taps. It really distributes the ink evenly. So here I'm going with the second impression. And what I'm going to do is I'm at, I could, you can see how wide the stripes are here. I'm going to go up about halfway overlapping the berry sorbet stripes I just did and make my impression with the melon berry. And you can see it ends up creating a slightly darker um, middle line here where the two inks overlap. So now I'm going to move on to Sweet Blush. Once again, several taps. Some good inking. And this time I'm going to fill in this white space and let the sweet blush overlap both the melon berry and the berry sorbet. Like this. And you can see it creates like a little bit of a shadow just under the melon berry. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the Aquamist. That's going to overlap slightly onto the Sweet Blush. like that and I love that color that the sweet blush and the aqua mist ended up making right there I think that's so pretty it's almost like I'm creating new ink colors here now for the ocean tides I'm going to pretty much do the same thing that I did above with the um, berry sorbet and melon berry. This time I'm using that Ocean Tides. And you can see that the way those the Aquamist and the Ocean Tides layered there just looks so pretty. For the last color I'm going to add Soft stone, just for a light gray finish here. And when you're doing this, if you look at all of your points and make sure they're the same distance above the point from your last impression, it will come out perfect just about every time. 
And you can see just what a pretty ombre effect that gives. Now you'll see I've got some white space left over here at the top because of the way I started. I'm going to snag the melon berry one more time. And I'm just going to add a little bit right there. And there's the completed background. You can see how easy that is. Thank you.